Jazz Club. So for this week's My Halifax, we are at the Boardroom Game Cafe, which is one of my favourite places. It's actually where I had my first date with my girlfriend, so it means a lot to me. And it's also Star Wars Day, which is a pretty cool time anyway. Yeah, so the Boardroom Game Cafe is a fantastic spot. Think of it as a regular cafe or bar. Big difference is that when you come in, you've got 500 possible games for you to play. So the great thing about the place with so many options is that regardless if you come in here with two people or if you come in here with like a dozen people, there are plenty of options for us. There's always a, a game boss on staff like myself, and what they'll do is they'll find out how many people you've got, figure out what mood you're in, and then we'll make about four or five different recommendations and teach the game to you that you like. So my philosophy is your new favorite game is the one you haven't played yet. It's a great way to get introduced to games that you never played before. Um, yeah, there's and people think of traditionally board games as Clue, Payday, Monopoly, Risk. Those games certainly have their place, but a lot of those games involve things like uh, player elimination or maybe it takes forever for your turn to come around. There's been a lot of revolution with board games lately to the point where you've got games that are highly interactive, they always have your brain percolating, you're always in it to win it to the end. A lot of great, great options as well. So this is really the only place in the city where you can come, learn a new board game, uh, expand your, your knowledge of the hobby, and have a beer at the same time. I mean, it's a great synergy. So right now, what I'm actually going to do is recommend, this is how basically what we usually do. Get a deck of cards, get a new game you've never played before, and then get a game that you've played before. That way you can experience something new and something old. This is actually a local game that was illustrated by a local uh, artist, Julianne Harnish, and it was all designed and made in Halifax, so it was always good to support local. So that's one of the really cool things about this place is you can actually get involved and support some local business. So right now we are playing what really seems like a very complicated farming game, but it's actually quite fun. So we're now going to play General Thieves, which is the new game is actually called Rogues to Riches, and again, it's a Halifax game. So, and by that I mean it's all made locally, and it's actually a really good game. So if you're into that kind of game, I recommend it to anybody. Again, the local artist, Julian Harnish, does the illustration, and the whole thing is a Halifax game. Thank you for watching this week's My Halifax, and we again with the Boring Game Cafe. Uh, if you think there's anywhere we should make a video, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you next week. The band sounds great. Do that again. Because I... Uh, double penny whistle track.